Hi guys, in this video I am going to give you a basic understanding of ANSYS Workbench with the help of a simple static structural problem. Take you through the different steps of this workbench. The first step is to go for selecting the type of analysis system out of the many available. I am going to select out of this a static structure, double clicking and here in this project schematic which has opened I can name my project as basic understanding for example this shows seven steps of the workbench project or the project schematic the first step is static structure that I have already gone through by selecting this analysis system second step of this project schematic shows defining the engineering data which is already tick marked that means the, the system has already selected a commonly used material so to understand this let us double click and see what is happening inside you can see that this is the outline of schematic A2 that is the engineering data which shows that the material is already defined to be a structural steel. If I want to add another material or replace this material with, with another one, I can simply go here and say go to engineering data sources and select one of the materials available from the list which is you can see from here and uh, I can say add one material like uh, stainless steel or titanium alloy or copper alloy or any other material. For present moment I am satisfied with the material that is available with me and uh, I will return to the project and uh, this another thing I want to show is that this window shows properties of the outline row 4 that means a uh, structural steel and this properties can be seen over here if I want to modify any of these properties I can do that and by clicking here I can return to my project window so here I am going to define my geometry as the third step which is being shown with a question mark means it invites information from me I'll double click this and the new window which prompts me to define the geometry should open okay so first thing I will do here is to define the units which I take it to be millimeters and say okay and here I have this interface where I am going to select first any of the plane available planes out of these three and uh, so that I can draw my sketch so once I do that I have available with me the sketching mode and the modeling mode modeling mode shows me the different 3D, 3D commands or CAD commands solid commands I can say that solid generation commands and sketching provides me all the draw commands modify dimension constraints and setting so let us go to the rectangle and make a rectangle over here because I want to draw a L-shaped project so I will define the units define the dimensions by clicking dimension say general and clicking on this so this is V1 dimension so V1 dimension is indicated over here which is 66 I am going to change it to 125 okay and I can unzoom this to place it within my window by scrolling the mouse wheel okay now I am going to define the second dimension again general this one and here it is s2 which is 23 I am going to change it to 25 and say enter okay now I am going to draw another triangle uh, rectangle here to complete my drawing so this is like this again dimensioning it okay so this is h3 which is 133 I'm going to change it to 125 
again this dimension which is v4 which is 33 and I am going to change it to 25 all my dimensions are defined but the only problem is there is a uh, some lines which are interfering because for drawing a sketch I need a single loop outside loop and single inside loop now these are intersecting lines so I have to remove that using trim command so I am going to remove these two lines so that this is now a single connected loop now I can go for generating this sketch and going for extrude so it is showing me in a three dimensional view and uh, I am going to define this to be 25 and say ok so now I will say generate so this is the object that I wanted now I will go back to my project window or the project schematic so once I do generate I will return back to my project window so here I see this is tick mark means I am done with the geometry. Now the next step is to go for the model. So here I will say right click and go to this window where this mechanical window is opening for me and I will see the same object I have created in this window. Now the rest of the things I can complete in this new window which is giving the mechanical answers multiplexics okay so go for generating the mesh and say right click update so this object has been meshed or the CAD model has been meshed I can now proceed further but one thing I want to add is I can change the size of the mesh for example if I want a different size mesh I will just say right click and uh, insert so I want to insert another mesh by sizing so here it shows geometry is not selected I will select from this window body I, because I want meshing to be done with the body so I selected this body this object and uh, here I will say apply and from here I am going to instead of default I am going to say say 3 because this was 25 so let us see what happens uh, ok so this is my new meshing criteria and, uh, and the moment I done that the system is now not able to identify which one of the two meshes I want to select so I will go for this and say update and I should see a new mesh available here and you see this is a very big mesh big elements uh, and a small number of elements but bigger in size so I was okay with whatever I had earlier so I will just go here and right click and say delete so that my previous mesh is there and the system is updated accordingly so accordingly I will do again update to show that my previous mesh is available to me now the next step is to define the loading conditions and the boundary conditions now I will go for analysis setting the moment I do that this window this tab show me the different kinds of loads and supports that I can apply like supports, I have fixed support, displacement, remote displacement I have different kinds of loads available basically I want to apply fixed support on this back end so I will go for this rotation selection tool and uh, rotate the object so that I can see this face go to the single selection that is the single mode selection and uh, go for this face selection and click on this so that one face is selected and I can now apply the fixed support here now this window shows that 
fixed support has been applied on this face now again uh, I will rotate this subject I'll go for single select first and uh, go for this rotation and I want to apply the uniformly distributed load over here on this face and a line load along this line okay so what I am going to do is again uh, unselect my rotation tab rotation button and then uh, go for uh, selecting this face selecting this and providing load which is a uniformly distributed load is equivalent to a pressure so here it is showing the downwards arrow which is showing the direction and uh, here I will put the magnitude to be say 1000 and click this button this graph shows that the load is applied gradually it is not a sudden load or it is not a impact load now another thing I want to apply is a line load or line pressure here I am going to select a edge and uh, select this edge over here so this edge is you see selected and say apply here I can uh, define by vector or components and here I will select this Y component because this is Y direction and I want downward uh, uh, selection of this and uh, I will select C500 so that means per unit or per meter okay now the next thing I want to do is to go for the solution because whatever static structure application has been applied I will say solve just to check that my systems can solve this problem and once that is done I will go for putting my post processing information requirement in the solution tab so what I will do here so I am okay with this everything is green colored tick mark and uh, post processing is very simple in this I will simply click on this and see which of the information given over here I am interested to so first I am interested to see the directional displacement because I expect the object to bend downwards in the y direction so I can say this to be y axis okay so this is selected the second thing I want to do is to understand the von Meisters and this is also selected I can go for selecting any of the other parameters and uh, for example the stain energy so once I am done with all the information that is required I will click here right click and say evaluate all results so you can see that all the arrows are now tick marked with green color so I can see the information one by one so this is giving me the information about the displacement you can see it and here I can see the equivalent stresses you can see the equivalent stresses are more over in this particular area okay and uh, in this area and it is blue color so this is a good candidate of removing some of the material from areas where the stress is least I can go for checking the distribution of stain energy within the element again stain energy is concentrated in some of the areas and uh, the results are on uh, expected lines and uh, I can again see with the help of this uh, loading that I have, been I have applied so this is downwards and uh, this line pressure is upwards so basically the results which I am getting is 
upward because of this uh, line pressure so I can go ahead and change this line pressure parameters and put here minus instead of plus so that the direction of the force can be changed now again you see the solution is now the green tick mark is gone so I will have to again go for right click and say solve so that means it will going it is going to give me all the results again the fresh results I can again see the directional deformation which is now downwards and uh, you have equivalent stress one my stress and uh, it is there all the information is there stain energy is there and I can go for getting the information in the in a particular sectional plane so if I am interested to see bisect this and see what is happening over here so I can rotate and see I can have apply more multiple planes or remove this section plane by clicking here okay so this is a basic tutorial to give you a basic insight into working of workbench we hope this will be useful okay thank you